Hey friends, The Muffin here. Welcome back to channel. Uh, I've got a subscriber request for the T57 Heavy. Now, I have compiled a tips and tricks playlist. If there's a tank you're struggling with or an aspect of the game you're looking maybe for some tips or help on, shoot over there. Hopefully there's something that can help. But diving right into the T57 Heavy. So the T57 Heavy is kind of an interesting tank because you're a heavy tank, so you want to be up on the front line and fulfilling that heavy role. However, you're not really that well armored. <laughs> um, you've got some pretty weak side cheeks along the turret. Your lower hull plate is pretty weak. The upper part of your turret is pretty strong and you do have uh, some armor also on that upper hull. But really the key way of playing the T-57 Heavy is a combination of using the landscape being in that supportive role with your team and knowing how to use the autoloader. Those are the two really key factors of getting good with the T57 Heavy. So I use the landscape as more of my armor to protect myself. As I'm up on the front lines, I'm getting behind objects. When I'm reloading, I'm getting behind objects. And even if I'm only able to get a shot off here and there, and it doesn't look like I'll be able to get all my shots off, I'll reload all my rounds so that by the time I do get to that position of where I can clip the enemy out, that is what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that you're maximizing the efficiency of your autoloader because if you're just taking a shot here, waiting a while, taking another shot, going around to get another spot, taking another shot, and then reloading your auto loader, it's not maximizing the efficiency of the T57 Heavy. But during that time of reload, of getting your entire clip, or all your rounds reloaded, it takes a while. So <laughs> you have to be in areas of team support, lands, uh, landscape protection, during those times of reload, which is, as a T-57 Heavy, it's very crucial to stay within view range of your team so they can support you during those times of reload, and using the landscape to also protect yourself, not just popping out um, and putting yourself in harm's way when you're trying to reload, you want to you want to be very close to objects, large enough objects and landscape, so that when you are done clipping the enemy out, you can get behind cover. So, in a very strategic way of thinking. Now, the other thing with the you know, that you'll notice, and even these couple replays I've got going on here, is I use my third person view a lot. I am also paying attention a lot to what my team is doing, what the enemy is doing. I'm not so much tunnel visioning. I'm looking for areas where there's support that's needed. So even right here, going into the second replay, I'm a heavy tank trying to get to that position to effectively get to the front line. I'm looking because I really need my team's support. I can't completely go over here on this one side if my entire team went the other side of the map. Because yeah, even though that autoloader is great and shoots really fast, but then when you're out of rounds and you've got to reload, you can really get yourself in big trouble. So once again, using my third person view, using the landscape to protect myself, thinking in terms of looking for ways to support your team up on the front lines, and it's one of these very opportunistic tanks where you're looking around, you're paying attention for those opportunities that you can pop out, clip the enemy, go back, reload for protection behind some sort of cover, and then utilizing the teammates around you, even though if they suck, is kind of at least an intimidation factor or a roadblock for enemies to be able to get to you. Now, the other thing about the T-57 Heavy is it has okay gun depression, but honestly, it's not great. So you gotta make sure that you're also not putting yourself in positions that require really good gun depression, like those that have 10 degrees, because you're going to be putting yourself in a place to potentially 
exploit your weakness against another enemy's strength that has better gun depression. So the T57 Heavy is a, you can utilize some hills, but it's much more of a flat ground heavy with, with some hills. So you, you do want to make sure and also be careful of that. So just like with this mouse, I was using my third person view and I, right when I noticed that the mouse had taken a shot, I was able to just go right in looking for that opportunity, clip, clip him out and then go on to the next position, the next covered protected position for me to reload. And now even with this IS-8, I didn't even care that I hit him because we're ahead, we're winning, we're closing in on the enemy, and now it's just a matter of um, finishing them off. But, <laughs> and even here, I forgot there was stairs right here, so I kind of got caught, but I was hoping to get around that corner. And then even, even track him, but it was a little too late. But also tracking is really good in the T-57 Heavy because even for enemies using consumables, if you can track them, then they're stuck, and then you can track them again real quickly, and it really puts them in a bad position already having them use those uh, repair kits. So anyway, this is the muffin here. Hope this was helpful. Stay cool and keep tanking.